so we went shopping. Um, and we got some switches, some master cutoff switches. We have two of these. We've got some terminals, which we have to drill out to fit these. It was the largest they had, but uh, we'll drill them out and fit them. We've got some bus bars to hook the solar panels up to. We've got some fuse holders and some fuses. So, and we've got all our tools laid out here. We've got here a cigarette lighter socket so we have 12 volt power everything neatly laid out here got a cup of coffee to fuel the uh, whole project which is me that uh, keeps the project going and we've got our fridge over here so um, I'll finish wiring it up now so our voltage is at 13.4 volts now and it just switch as I was saying it. Well, anyway, the batteries have taken on some current and are topping off nicely since we've been gone. We've been gone for a couple hours in town uh, getting supplies. But the single solar panel we have is topping off the battery for us. So now we're going to put the rest of them on. So I have this switch here and the largest crimp on connectors they had. I'm not in focus. The largest connectors they had were too small for the switch, so what I have to do is drill them out. So I've got my drill bit here and a vise and an assistant to hold it, which let me refocus. Alright, my assistant is holding the camera for me. Here. we got to do this without crimping that down, so we got to be careful I don't go too far on that. It's a powerful drill. Yeah, that isn't going to work very easy because it's, I can't tighten it too much or I'll crimp the whole thing down. See, this awkward trying to drill something that is um, a crimp connector, isn't it? Maybe if I try it this way, it might help a bit might help a lot. Almost through. Okay, there's one. Now, see if it fits. And, oh, it's very hot. Uh, I mean, need to make it a little bit larger. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to try drilling it, holding it like that. That's better. It's very hot. There's copper. There it is. We have a connection. Alright, let's drill the others real quick. Much easier. Widen it out right away. Yep. It goes well enough, right? There we have it. There's our new connectors. Ready? What I'm thinking about doing is making a frame using some scrap wood here. Just sending out a voice to get an idea and a look feel here. Um, this would attach to the inside of the box. 
right here this piece and then this board would allow me to mount that's almost too thick see that's a problem I need a board just a little bit thinner than that because this is off in the on position it's a little lower mm, that would be very very close a little bit thinner board if we can find something half that thickness would be perfect and then that would attach to this and this would attach to the wall of the box and we have ourselves a uh, amount for the switches okay there's that piece. now we want this one to be just as long yeah there's something to mark it with. Actually, I can see right here where I marked. I, I'll be good right here. Right to the right of that. Actually, that laser is off. Okay, now this should be our mount. Oh. Look at that, it works out. That'll be our mount for the switches. Shut off. Oops, don't move it. It's got to be flush with that right there. Alright, hold it tight, I'll put this one in right there. Does it look good? Yes. Um, centered. Nice screws. Nice screwdriver. Alright, if we get that one flush right there, put your hand there, and I'll get the end on. Just a minute. Nice. Okay, now we have the plate that's going to hold our switches. So now I have to drill holes for the switches and then mount them in there. So we'll be in the workshop a little bit longer. I'm going to hit that there. Okay. Dull cutter. A very dull cutter. Oh. That's the problem. Now, see if the switch will fit through. It's going to work. Okay. The other one. I have to move the board. And the other switch should fit. Good enough. And hopefully it'll fit up this way. Yep. And the measurements right. Look at that. They're going to work. That's how they're going to go in. Take the screws off that. And we'll be good. Cut. that that's on there you got two more of those screws sure it's perfect ah, sorry, man. thank 
you. So you can see it there. There it is. Switches are mounted. So these go in just like that. And there they are. There's our switch box. So we'll go mount that in the uh, big box. Yeah, right there is fine. All right, now I have a fuse connector here. I'm hoping that it's going to be long enough because I have to come from here to this switch here. That's going to be my main power out. So, side cutters. Cut this roughly in the middle. It's funny how they design this. And I have to put a fuse in. That's a 60 amp fuse. We'll put that in here. Okay. Now, hopefully this will reach. Now what I've done, I have reversed, I've moved my charge controller over, or not mine, but the charge controller. I've mounted the switches in the box, and then the inverter will go here. And now what I've done is I've switched the charge controller's wires to the outside two wires so my inside two can go to the inverter and keep them short. Now I need to just hook this one up. This is going to work out perfect. This one will go from the positive to the switch. So I'm just going to put on the crimp end connectors and shut off the camera for now to save battery power. So we'll be right back. Alright. Alright, I've got the fuse uh, block ready for soldering. We're going to solder these ends in better. So that's, I'm waiting for the soldering iron to get heated up. And in the meantime, I took a, and made a wire for the inverter positive and ran it on here to the switch. And I've also made a wire for the inverter negative, which I will now put on. Get that out of the way. We can mount that now already. So the one goes here. Now the inverter is nice and close to the battery bank, so that's good. We have less loss in the lines. And then we can put the negative on here, opposite of where the solar panel, solar charge controller comes in, is where the inverter will pull power from, out from. So the positive is going to be fused and have the switch. So it's going to be a very safe setup. Okay, you can stop. Right, we've got the fuse block ready. I want to make sure I did put the fuse in. Yes, it's a 60 amp fuse. You may hear a family in the background. So I am at somebody's house. Alright, this is going to go from the positive here to the switch. And it's going to reach just fine. That's perfect. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to go on to the switch first. Which you won't be able to see. So we can pause the camera and we'll come back. Ready? Alright, we've got this attached to the switch now. And then we'll attach here and we're probably going to see a spark. Wait a minute, if that's off. On, off. Okay, the switch is off. Because uh, normally if the power was on with an inverter, you'll see a big spark, which I don't like. I don't like the big sparks from the power inverters. Good. So the switch is off.
I do hope you can see in there still. It's getting pretty dark. But I'm going to tighten this down. Nice and tight. Make sure all these are nice and tight now. Now we're done with all the battery connections. It's getting pretty dark. It's been a long project today, but it's coming to a close. Okay, there we have it. All the battery connections are done. Yeah, it's getting sort of fuzzy on the camera now, so we can turn this on and the inverter should kick on. Power switch. And there we have power. See the LED light on the inverter? See that over there? You can hear it running. We have power. So now we have AC power here. Success. And there's your master on-off switch. Okay.